Hi there, it's uh, just gone two o'clock on Tuesday the 16th of May. Oh, I can't believe we're already halfway through May. This year is going so quick. Uh, just going to check that I am live in the correct place. Just bear with me two seconds. Okay, seems... I am so that's good if you um, if you're joining me today then uh, just pop a comment in just let me know you, who's there and uh, if you have any questions also pop those in or comments um, if you caught my uh, little video the other day that I posted on YouTube and that I um, I think I said I was going to use the Fresh as a Daisy sweet today. Um, so I've been having a bit of a play with that. Um, it's a really nice sweet, even though we have had Daisy stamps and punches before, but this one's a totally different, really. Um, the dyes are, are great. And I'm going to show you some of the effects that you can get with the dyes um, and some of the designer paper and um i've made some cards with the designer paper and i'm just going to make some cards as they come into my head so we'll see how see how it goes but um okay what i'm going to do is just turn the camera around and then we'll, we can have a look at uh the products first of all okay just bear with me Okay, so I think you can now see the catalogue. It's open up the Fresh as a Daisy suite. Um, so for this suite, it's £69.50 for the complete suite. And with that, you get the designer series paper, these lovely um, gems here, which are they do sparkle. They're, um, this is Lemon Lolly. Uh, this is Boho Blue, one of the New England colours. And this one, I believe, is Copper Clay. Yeah, Copper Clay. It looks, looks a bit more coppery, depending on how you hold it in the light. Okay, so that's those. They're really pretty. And you also get the stamp set and the dies you can see quite the dies there so those are all the dies okay so it's really good value i mean obviously you you don't have to buy the complete set you've got the options you know you could buy the stamp set on its own and and that would work really well uh the stamp and dies as a bundle and you save 10 percent the um designer series paper you know that makes pretty cards as well so uh, there are many options but also you know these little gems can be used with other sets in other in the rest of the catalogue so it's not just limited to the uh, fresh as a daisy suite so i've been and cut out um the dies with the hope of showing you some of it uh, that's the stamp set okay so these dies are this is a nice little label with uh, stitched edging and that fits all of the sentiments then you've got a group of flowers here now these bits that were in here i've actually kept and i've put them down this on the bottom here um i don't think i've not seen these actually being used like this but i've i sort of put them against the leaf and they looked quite good as giving the bit of definition to the leaf so rather than um rather than stamping on it so don't ever throw away little bits like that 
Um, so this is the group of flowers. And then you've got a big daisy outline, um, a smaller one, and then this is like um, a half daisy sort of looking at it on the side. And this is an embossed piece of detailing to go in here. And then again, this one on there. And this half one goes on this one. This die here is for this little stamp there. And again, you've got, you have got a leaf there with some detail on. Then we've got uh, the stem, some just like, I don't know, a bit of grassy type bits there. These are the bits that go in the middle. So if you were wanting sort of um, a, a stamped image of the middle, again, these two stamps. This one, again, is a bit that I saved out of here thinking that maybe um, you could cut this out in one colour, then you could colour that and pull it on a dimensional and give it a middle piece just to um, give it a bit of a bit more dimension to it. So that's all the different dies. As you can see from the front of the the stamp case you've got four sentiments uh you've made my you made my day oops a daisy so sorry wishing you the brightest birthday and your friendship means everything you've also got an more of an outline stamp and then this is like an infill and you've got that on the bigger one and the medium one as well and you have got a stem so you could stamp the stem and then cut it out but equally you could just use the die and cut it out okay so the designer series paper i've been chopping some of this up so i should just remove some of it okay this uses a number of um, new colours and the in colours as well as uh, one, two, three, three of our existing colours. So there's, there's a, there are a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen of our colours involved in this in this uh, set, this paper. So this one, as you can see, you can chop it all up to make small card bits of background. Okay, and on the back of that, it's got this really nice sort of brushed effect. And this is Moody Mauve. Okay. Then we've got this nice, busy um, daisy and little flower. I don't know, maybe celandine buttercup type little yellow flower. So that's pretty. And on the back of that, you've got the pebbled path, which is a, a grey colour. And again, it's in this brushed effect. So you have two of each of these sheets. Some bigger daisies with the copper on the background and this I'm pretty sure this is going this is the azure afternoon one of the new colors um and garden green so again as I say you've got two of those this one uses the moody mauve it also uses the um bubble bath which is this nice pinky color and 
the um, copper clay. I have got to get got to get used to these new names. Um, copper clay. There's also wild wheat in there as well, and that's a wild wheat background. And then again, you've got this lovely boho blue with the daisies and a copper clay background. Okay, this one is, there's a pebbled, if you can see on there, you've got the pebbled path grey background at the back and then quite a number. This this yellow is um, lemon lolly, so that's a new colour. Then we've got the crush curry, which is an existing colour. And there's those and a nice blue background. Okay, so let me just move those bits out of the way. Find the cards that I've already made. Um, okay, so this one is out of the piece of um, pattern paper that you can cut up. And it's on a boho blue layer and then the copper clay card base. And I've used a few of the boho blue gems on there. And inside I've just put a white layer. This little bit of the designer paper that I cut off just to make the right layer size. And the wishing you the brightest birthday stamp. Again, this one is another piece of the designer series paper that I cut up. Um, it's on Early Express and I'm, I'm not, I don't use these sort of dark browns and that very often. So I was, I challenged myself with this one today to, um, to try and make a card with it and I didn't want a completely dark background so that one's just a very simple card with some nice gold ribbon it's left completely blank so you could use it for any occasion and then this one is a piece of the designer series paper again cut up this is the um, sentiment sort of um, die and a bit of the elegant gold I think it's elegant let's have a look what it's called simply elegant trim it's called which is still in the catalog um, so that's just a, a quick and easy card as well okay so those are all really simple really quick to make and other than that one, they can all be made just using the DSP. OK, so I'm not really sure exactly what else I'm going to make. Um, but what I've done is cut out some of these bits. So I thought I'd show you this a bit first and some different ideas with it. So, so you've got this lovely group of flowers. And this is a, this is how the um, detailed bit would, would sit. So you can see the embossing. Now, you also have, let me find the other ones and put those on. Just, um, just got to get them in the right way. But they are all designed so that it's very easy just to match them up. Okay, so you've got, as you can see, that's just white on white. So, I mean, that would look really effective anyway on its own. But there are different ways that you can add colour. 
Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of those. I need to open my ink pad. And if you, in case you didn't see the setting up of a ink pad the other day, I'll just quickly run through that now. So this is lemon lolly, so it's a nice bright colour. And they slide, they're a bit stiff to start with, but they will slide quite easily. Okay, so that's how you open them. On the back, there's some labels. And they've got... Now, if you can see that very well, there's this one says lemon lolly. So I'm just going to put that on the front just along there so when they're stacked up I can see exactly what pad that is okay then you get um, some other so you've got French and German as well and you've got a second one that says lemon lolly but you've also got a plain one you can take that off once you've once you've finished with the labels that you want but uh, I generally leave them on so the plain one is really useful for sitting in this groove here and again it, it literally just pops in there and then you know you can see I mean you could put the one with the writing on but when it's down Obviously, we can see it's a yellowy orange colour, but if you've got shades of yellow and orange, they may all look very similar. So, you know, it's really useful to have this colour here and then you don't mix them up. Especially when you're using the blending brushes and sponge daubers, because you really don't want to put a crushed curry onto a lemon lolly because it would be um, extremely dark compared to the original one and then you'd you'd have a few problems getting it out okay so this is a sponge dauber and i'm just going to literally dot it onto there and then you can sort of just dot it around on here and you can see then that there's some nice yellow middle bits and then when you layer these when you layer these up you'll see the yellow through it okay so that's one one way of coloring these um you could I'll put that over to the side you can also use these, or um, again, sponge daubers. And I'm just going to use a nice, this is Berry Burst, this is a returning colour. And I'm going to use another sponge dauber. And with this one, I'm just, I just want to sort of add a bit of, a little bit of colour, sort of in the middle. It might be a bit dark, this one really, but just... Just so that it gives it a bit of a bit of definition, and and this is oh can't pick it up. This is the um, of a die that's outlines it on its individually, but then you can put that on like that to give it a bit of colour. You could also add bits of bits of pink pinky color around the edges just pretty sure some they probably don't have it quite this bright but some uh, daisies do do have a reddish tinge in the middle and i'm just gonna drop that on in the middle Uh, 
and then that would line up I might put a bit more of that on just over that side see and then you could line that up stick it on like that and you've got very pretty little daisy there then okay so that's some different different techniques just for adding a bit of colour to those okay so the card I've sort of like well I haven't really started it I've cut out some dies and I've cut out a card base um so this is a nice pink called bubble bath and that's my card base that I'm going to use and that's as far as I've got with designing this this card so it's gonna just have to see how it goes and what whether I still like it when when I've put things together I've cut out some again in this um, bubble bath I've cut out the um, detailed dies to sit on there but I am also going to colour the the middle bits of the flowers in lemon lolly just to a bit you get quite a bit of ink onto there so uh, and I don't wash these out I keep them I'll label that up as lemon lolly and I'll keep that just for that color okay so rather than doing anything around the edge I'm just gonna glue these So I don't want lots of glue, so I'm just going to spread this bit out. And then that can go. On there, as you can see, it, it, mark, it um, lines up really quite easily because of the way the cutting is and using Tombow it um, you've got a bit of flexibility on moving it around so again just going to put some little dabs of glue just enough to hold it this is very very good glue when it sticks it's um it sticks strong but as I say it gives you a bit of flexibility before it sticks completely down to, to have a bit of wiggle room and then again this one to go up on that one okay so there's a bunch of daisies now that's as far as I've got at the moment on what I was planning to do. So I think I will use a bit of this onto here. So I just need to cut that. I'll just, just bring in my trimmer and um my card base is cut at eight inches by five and three quarters, which if you want centimetres is um, twenty twenty point three. 203 millimetres and this way is 14 14 and a half 
centimeters and then um, I basically take a quarter of an inch off each side so this side is now cut at three and three quarters and I'm going to cut this bit down to five and a half we'll keep that bit okay so that's going to sit on there and um, no I'm not so sure about these I've got a pink one because I thought the white might not stand out quite so well but I think what I'm going to do is um, use the white one but add some colour, a bit of colour to it. So let's just get rid of that for the moment. Put the pink one out of the way. Mm. Running out of space. Okay, so I don't want anything too bright. I just want a bit of bit of um, colour added to it so let me find I've got some um, just rummaging under my desk for, for what I need um, I'm going to use these which are the really small um, blending brushes they come in a pack of three um, just a little mini ones and they're, they're ever so soft um, and they're tiny tiny little brushes we've got bigger ones as well sort of that size um, and I think I'm going to use some of this this is the bubble Pink. When you're using these, you sort of tap, tap, tap away, a bit like you did with the sponge daubers. But when you start using it, you need to be off so that you don't get a big sort of smudge or big blob of ink. And then you literally just go over where you want the colour. And the more pressure you put on, the more ink will come off and then you just I don't want it all pink because I may as well have used the pink one but it's just to just to give it a bit of a bit of a shading so it's not quite so um quite so bright and I know it's a real shame to be covering up this lovely patterned paper I and mean, you could when you decide how you're going to put this you could actually cut the middle bit out if you wanted to so that you can use it on something else um, I'm not going to do that today so that will go on there and this will go and I'm going to put it in the middle I'm not not glued any of this down yet as I'm still still deciding how it's gonna be but um, so I'm until I'm happy with it I'm not gonna not gonna glue anything just yet okay so if I wanted to put that on there that sort of area what I could then do is find the stamp set and I could put some of the leaves uh, let's 
find an ink blot. And I'm going to use what greens are in the garden green. Okay, I'm going to just just find my green ink pad. I'm not sure that I really want it this dark, so what I'm going to do is just stamp off and then I'm going to put some just dot some leaves around. by stamping off you you're using it's called um second generation ink but it also gives you a slightly different shade so you get more more colors really for uh, more colors for your money and the good thing about these is if you don't quite say so now I'm gonna to have to stand up to do this but if you don't quite get it lined up or printed properly you can just line it back up and add the ink where it needs to go so that's that's one of the benefits of photopolymer stamps so i'm concentrating which is makes it a bit difficult to then keep talking <laughs> again stamp let me do that because i didn't stamp completely off stamp off and it's just just going to be a case of working out roughly where i want to put some leaves that bit there I can stick something on that and that's fine you see there you go look you just line it back up and that's fine I think I'm just going to put one more down here And then I can play with it, move it around as much as I want to. And you see, I can even change the way I'm where I'm going to put it so that that covers that that little error. And stick another leaf there. Okay, so. So you just just move it around and play with it a little bit, and it will soon soon find where you wanna where you want it to sit. And what I could do, I've got somewhere. No, I didn't think I cut it out. I was going to say I thought I'd cut out one of those. Um, some of this, but I haven't, so I'm not gonna, not gonna use that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take that off for a moment. I'm gonna stick this bit down, okay? So you're leaving an eighth of an inch border okay, now I can put this put this bit on as well 
make sure make sure I'm in camera view Right, um, my mini dimensionals, I think, for this one. So I'm just going to pop a few of these around so that they give a bit of volume to the card. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I want one there, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna just add a bit of. I'll do that bit in a minute, but I'll add a bit of glue on there just so that it sits down on that bit where it's got that little bit of a smudge. So this is the thing, we just make a mistake, we can either stick a embellishment on it or cover it up with something and uh, we don't have to start all over again. Of course with um, some of the stamping you can obviously you know, turn, the, turn the piece of card over as you've got two sides and um, and just redo it so that will cover that up like that just hold that down a moment while it sticks because it's pinned up so there's not so far. Okay, now I need to do a sentiment <clears throat> and um, I'm also going to just use some of these. I'm just going to take my tape the pick tool and I shall just dot Some of these around just to add a little bit of sparkly sparkly bit on there. Now for the sentiment, um do I want to use Birthday. I might actually use this one here. The your friendship means everything, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to use the um, the die. I don't think for this. I'm going to. What am I going to do with it? I'm just sort of thinking it would probably fit. I'm not going to stamp straight onto there, but. Hmm, not sure. I think what I want is just a piece of white. I've got tons of scrap pieces of white from cutting down of various card bits. So I'm just going to just going to stamp onto there and I think with this one I'm going to use the brighter moody mauve ink just so that that ties it in so this is the moody mauve which is a new ink colour and just make sure that it's going to stamp oh yeah stamps nice so then I'm just going to stamp it on onto there. Let's just put 
that away. And I think I really just want it down there. So what I might, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this punch in. Now I've not tried this, so I'm amazed it actually fits. So that was good. This is the double oval punch. I'm not going to cut a bigger one out. I'm just going to keep that let me just add add a little bit it's just so that it's not quite so bright and then again I'm going to put that on with some dimensionals Maybe the bigger ones would have been better but that'll be fine And I'm going to stick that just down there. And then I will put a white layer in. I just don't have, well, actually I do have one somewhere, I think. Here it is. I can stick a white layer in, but I'm going to stamp it first. And I think what I'm going to use is this little um, little daisy outline. Just just to give it a little little daisy on there and then I'm going to leave the inside sentiment free because then I can write a message or if I ever get round to setting up my Etsy shop whoever decides they want to buy these cards can write a message Okay, so that's still very quick and simple, but it's um yeah, it's got the pretty dies. Okay. Um I'm not gonna make any more cards at the moment using that. What I do wanna do though is just show you um let me just put this ink away. I have got a couple of the other packs of paper from the new catalogue that I thought I'd just quickly show you um, because they are really quite nice. This is the um, birthday, uh, let me just find it, Bright and Beautiful I think it is, yeah, this is the Bright and Beautiful suite. So it's really, you know, it's all um, balloons and um, one of the dies, which I've not used yet, but I will. It's got like a little frilly bit, but it's lovely bright colours and um, great for making cards for, for men, women, kids. Okay, so some nice like rainbowy bits but there's also nice stars on the back and with this one you get four sheets of each sort and you get like this ombre effect and stripes and then a paler water wash background and these little triangles in varying shades so that's pretty okay then we got a a bubble bath ombre effect and that's got little well they're not quite dots they're sort of 
they're not dots because they're all a bit um different shapes and sizes so but they're bubbly so that's that's really pretty it's hand drawn i guess then we got yellow and white stripes this is lemon lolly and on the back is the bigger bubbles then this is the lemon and lime twist which is returned and some nice um what do you call that herringbone i don't know but anyway zigzaggy shapes this is pretty peacock and on the back there's some swirly bits this one might be lost lagoon this is in uh returning color but say it's not been not while i've been a demonstrator and then some nice sort of squiggles um the blue in this is let's just have a look so there's misty moonlight um which is this one this is a returning color and then you've got lovely stars in different shades of blue on the back and as you can see i've used some of that one and these nice like confetti and the blue azure that's blueberry bushel and rainbowy stars and then a nice stripe rainbowy stripe and berry burst on the back so that's really nice and bright for some great birthday cards that's that one um as part of that suite also you get but you don't have to buy it with that you can buy it separately is this gold celebration now this is 12 by 12 and it's it's like acetate window sheet paper it's probably got i would imagine it's got a film on it but i'm not 100 percent sure um but you've got nice swirly confetti and a dotty one and then this one is stars and bits so it's like um like confetti but obviously this one is designed so that you cut it in half this way and then you chop it up so you've got um you could make six card fronts out of that one so that's really pretty and at the moment the only other um, designer series paper that I bought is the country countryside in and so I'm just trying to open the packet this is all in shades of blue it's 12 by 12 and so you've got balmy blue boho blue misty moonlight and night of navy and as you can see this is quite flowery um, and then that one's got like little leafy um, and dots pattern and again you've got two of each this one's got some cute little bunnies on and this sort of pattern it's got little flowers and stuff in that pattern this one has little birds and flowers on that side and then darker blue stripes so i mean that could be easily used um, for mail cards And there's this one with the bigger flowers 
and this one sort of stripes but it's, it's got like a almost like a I don't know a crackle D effect so stripes and dots on that and then this one's got this is cute this has got little foxes on so that's quite sweet this is the first time I've looked at this so and that's again little flowers and dots on that side oh there is another one I can't can't count I'm trying to stop it all from falling down okay so this one's um see little trees and flowers on that side and leaves and then this one's a quite a busy but it'd be nice for as bits nice little flowery background okay so that's um all of that i'm just going to move those so they don't fall on the floor while i'm finishing off talking to you um okay so i'll just bring the cards back in that i'd already made as well and um one goes that way and then that's today's card that I demonstrated okay so thanks for joining me and um, I'll see you again um, next week hopefully okay take care bye